Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss the more depth of the nucleus. That is the genetic control of protein synthesis. The new topic related to that we will discuss the structure of the DNA and how it is conveying the messages from inside the nucleus to the outside to the nucleus into the cytoplasm. To understand its function, just a review of the cell nucleus that most cells have single nucleus which is enclosed by inner and outer membrane called the nuclear envelope and outer membrane is continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. Nuclear pore complexes fuse inner and outer membranes together. Selective active transport of proteins and RNA take place, which is necessary for the regulation of the gene expression and the transport of mRNA out of the nucleus to the ribosomes. The structure of the DNA and RNA that will be and their function I will explain them in more detail in following lecture. Inside the cell nucleus we have the nucleoli which contains DNA the genes that call for the production of the mRNA. The genes control the cell function by determining which substances are synthesized within the cell, which structure, which enzyme or which chemical. Actually, the genetic material that is the DNA and RNA. The biological information contained in an organism is encoded in its DNA sequence Whereas RNA is used for information transport and zymatic function. In the cell nucleus, large numbers of genes they are attached end on end in extremely long double stranded helical that is the DNA having molecular weight measured in the billions. Each gene which is a which is the DNA automatically controls the formation of another nucleic acid that is RNA. Then after that RNA then spreads throughout the cell to control the formation of a specific protein. The entire process from transcription of the genetic code in the nucleus to translation of the RNA code and formation of protein in the cell cytoplasm is often referred as the gene expression. These terms that is the translation and transcription that is will that will be discussed later on in detail. This is the picture to show how the genes they work inside the cell nucleus. And also it is shown here that the process of the translation and transcription. What is that one? The process of transcription takes place inside the nucleus here and then the message is conveyed outside the, site, outside the nucleus into the cytoplasm and this process or this code, these code words they are translated by mRNA and that is called the translation. So in this way the DNA although it is seated inside the nucleus but it is going to control all the cellular machinery. Regarding the basic building material, regarding the basic building blocks of the DNA, it contains nucleotides. Different types of the nucleotides, they are arranged in very specific manner, which is the organization of the double standard DNA. 
different types of the compounds. They are present on the DNA. They are named as phosphoric acid and very specific sugar that is the deoxyribose and four types of the bases including adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. One of the base that is attached to the basic structure that, that, that is the one molecule of phosphoric acid and one molecule of deoxyribose. This is the basic structure. Here it is shown that is the adenine that is attached to the phosphate and deoxyribose. This thing it is going to be changed in different combinations. Either the thymine, guanine or cytosine it may be it may also be adjust to the basic structure. In the first stage, in the formation of DNA is to combine one molecule of phosphoric acid, one molecule of deoxyribose and one of four bases to form an acidic nucleotide. So that on this basis four different types of the different separate nucleotides they are formed because of the combination of four different bases. This picture is going to show you that DNA is basically a double stranded molecule in which two strands they combine with each other in a very specific manner. This is an animation to show you again the same thing but also mentioning that adenine is going to combine with thymine and guanine will combine with cytosine. That is fixed. If you open the double stand of the DNA, you can have this look. One stand is here and one stand is here. They are curled up with each other in a spiral manner. If you Open the spiral, you can have two different strands, but you must uh, appreciate that guanine is always combining with cytosine and adenine with the thymine. This is another animation just to show how the double strand they are uh, uh, that is formed. The sequence of complementary pairs of the bases is CG, CG, GC, TA, CG, TA, GC, AT and AT. Because of the looseness of the hydrogen bonds, the two strands can pull apart with ease and they do so many times during the course of their function in the cell. Again the same thing. What is the genetic code? This is a very very important terminology which can be asked in the viva. I am mentioning separately these terminologies which are very um, short but they have a great importance. They usually ask in the viva. What is the genetic code? What is the genetic codone? And uh, what is the process of the transcription and translation? Regarding this whole chapter, these questions they are usually asked. So what is the genetic code? When the two strands of a DNA molecule are split apart, as I have shown you many animations, this exposes the purine and pyrimidine bases projecting to the side of each DNA strand. As I have shown, it is these projecting bases that form the genetic code. So, the genetic code consists of successive triplets of bases, that is, each three successive bases is a code word. 
the code is transferred to the RNA and this process is called the transcription. Now I am going to very very first slide in which this one I have mentioned this process the transcription. So what is the genetic code through the specific pattern of the DNA molecule? Specific arrangement of the bases giving the specific look of the DNA that is transferred in a specific manner to the RNA and this process is transcription and the whole specific manner that is called the genetic code. You can see this one here. In this way, for the synthesis of any protein molecule, DNA is going to teach the RNA in a very specific manner through different specific codes, genetic codes. And what are these? These are the specific arrangement of the purines and pyrimidine over the basic structure of the DNA that is the phosphate and its sugar molecule. So, that specific information that is conveyed to the RNA, this specific arrangement is called the genetic code and the process is called the transcription. So, I hope you must be, you now um, have a clear concept about the process of the transcription. The translation, the process is through which the genetic code is read by the RNA. So, how it is interpreted by RNA? This process is called just simply the translation as you have the translation of the English to the Urdu or Urdu to the English. Uh, in, this, in the same manner, the genetic codes, they are encoded by the RNA molecules. To have a further detail of the process and the RNA, we will firstly discuss the structure of the RNA, how it is formed and then we follow the further function that is how the ribosome they are going to play their part and how finally the protein synthesis take place. It may be protein synthesis or specific enzyme um, formation or anything which is needed by the cell. So that will be continued in the next lecture. Up till now, thank you and Allah Hafiz.